Um, we're going to jump over to Lena now from Mind Over Matter. Um, Lena, before we start, I know you've been trialing the jawbone. Can you tell us a little bit about your blog? <coughs> yourself? Um, yes, hi. Um, my name is Lena, and I blog at Mind Over Matter. Um, I write uh, mostly about things that are fun for me these days, not so much about my kids anymore. So I write about running and weightlifting and uh, a bit about rock climbing and, and yoga and nutrition and stuff like that. Um, I have never tried a fitness tracker before because I'm quite active anyway, so I haven't been sure how much it would motivate me to sort of move more on my rest days and things like that. But I I've been trying out the jawbone up, okay, and somebody commented on it saying how cool it looked. Um, and I actually really like the fact that it doesn't look like a watch and it doesn't look like, Ooh, look at me, I'm super sporty, sort of wearing a big, big sports watch. Um, it's very easy to set up. Um, basically, it has just two ends, and one end is a little cap that you pull off and then you charge it through a USB. The other end is just one button that you toggle uh, between your sleep mode and your active mode. Um, sleep, personally, I don't like to track um, because I just can't sleep with something around my wrist. So that I just put in manually sort of the time I go to bed and then when I wake up. Um, now the stats that it collects, uh, you can see through your app only on your phone. There is no, no display on, on that one. Um, the app is free to download, very easy, quick to set up. You put in your personal details, your height and weight and so on, and then you're good to go. Uh, and it updates uh, through Bluetooth uh, wirelessly, so very quickly every time you log into your phone you can see how you're doing. Um, I, um, I like the, the, the fact that it counts you know, the, the steps as I'm doing everyday stuff. Um, and also uh, putting the nutrition. I don't usually track my nutrition, but it has been interesting to sort of play around with the app and, and, and see the functionality and how easy it is. Um, and um, it sort of not only shows you how many calories you've eaten, but it sort of gives you a food score, so you actually know the quality of food you're eating. So I found that quite interesting. That's fantastic. I didn't know it did that. Um, it's, uh, it's based on some kind of American guidelines, I guess, but it, it, it's pretty good. I know quite a bit of nutrition, about nutrition, and it, it, seems, it seems legit, so it's, it's, it's all right for me. Um, also, if people use, a lot of people use my fitness power for nutrition. It syncs with that as well, so you don't have to do it twice. Um, and it also syncs with a lot of other fitness um, apps, like I use Strava for my running, so I don't have to put in my run separately. They just sync with Strava. Um, uh, what else? All the other workouts that I do, I can't wear it to rock climbing or to CrossFit, so I just enter them manually, and you can put in, you know, how difficult it was and, you know, how long you did it and, and what kind of workout it was. So it's quite good. It has a lot of features, and it... Uh, it, it took me a while to sort of get to know the app and to, to find out just everything that was, was in it. I was hesitant at first to like start messing with the nutrition because I'm, I don't usually track. But then once I tried it out, I saw that it was sort of very easy and the interface is a lot of fun and it, it sort of, it makes it easy and, and, and fun at the same time. So it's, it's sort of, it's quite good and it, it, it took me by surprise, I think. Um, uh, what else can I say? I think I will mostly use it on my rest days, just to make sure that my rest days are my sort of active recovery and not just sitting on the couch days. Um, and also on holidays, um, just to make sure that I sort of walk enough. And um, my, um, my older son actually has a step counter as well. And so evenings, when neither of us have done our steps, then we just go for a walk in the evening. And it's been really nice, actually, because he's thinking about, you know, how much he's moving every day. Um, and then in the evenings, we can just go and get a bit of fresh air before bedtime and, uh, and catch up and talk about Minecraft and things like that. Um, so all in all, I'm positively surprised. It took me a few days to sort of warm up to the idea and get to know the app. But all in all, I like it a lot. Fantastic. Thank you so much.